In this edition of the Nature Recorder, we're going to be using a mobile phone with binoculars to record video and take pictures. This is more of a teaching session with plenty of examples. To illustrate the start point and end point, the full screen is the mobile phone photo and the little yellow rectangles in these four examples are the zoomed in phone on the back of binoculars. Notice the huge difference. Where on these two slides it's a before and after, on the left mobile phone, on the right with binoculars. As I said, a huge difference. Let's spend 40 seconds looking at the technical setup. Phone with binoculars on tripod. Equipment on the decking. We can see the foam on the back of the mobile phone. Binoculars with a binocular clamp which secures it to the tripod there. Capillan decathlon blue elastics. Then we can go over and see this from many angles, how exactly I am using it. And any decent binoculars will have a little unscrewing tripod thing, as you can see clearly. And the last one. For the remainder of this session we're going to be looking at 42 video clips in the next 14 minutes. As we can see now there is the first one where I'm literally in the field of a rider upon a horse. This is all filmed in times by two with open camera so that you can see it's a little bit sped up. These are raw clips. So what you're seeing is the setup with the phone and the binoculars on the tripod with me just testing things out, especially the focus, the brightness, the zoom there on the phone. You can see with it zoomed all the way out, you get the circular binocular black borders. I think it's zooming in about 1.2, maybe 1.3. Takes away all of the borders. Excuse the choppiness. As I said, these are completely 100% raw clips. This was just at the roadside where I'm literally just um, having a look to see what is around. I'm in the forest very soon and on the way in I saw some wild fallow deer. Deer are fantastic to hide in plain sight in the rolls of the fields. You can see there that when we are looking we can see no feet, no legs, no head. Um, just to repeat, this is a like guided narration on the practical application of using a phone, in my example a Android 7.0 Moto G4 attached to the back of some Nikon, I think 10 by 40 action binoculars on a tripod and then with the swivel head I'm able to zoom in and record things like this. Bearing in mind that these three deer, fallow deer, are wild and in a moment you're going to see the middle one there kind of like spot me and get a bit weary but because uh, sorry not weary, wary of me that they they want to walk away. So in other words the distance that I'm at with the binoculars, I know it sounds really obvious for those people, there you go, a little look of, hey, what's up? For people who do not go out um, in my way in the nature, in the nature, he says, um, in nature, then distance is a big thing to animals and as you're going to see a squirrel coming up, you know, quite soon. Um, in other words, if you get too close, nature walks off. If you're doing other things like you've seen, I've used my practical ap application uh, for recording village cricket with this technique of phone on binoculars. Um, I think there are some really cost effective ways of doing this. In other words, you've already got your phone, you've already got hopefully some binoculars. If you haven't, you can get them for I don't know, 50 UK pounds, maybe 100 UK pounds. If you can compare that to, say, a DSLR camera like a Nikon or a Canon plus a zoom lens, you're talking thousands of pounds. So a clamp, like a little L-shaped clamp for a 
binocular going to a tripod I'm sure is from Amazon at something like uh, I don't know 10 UK pounds ten dollars or something not a lot I would say he says looking at this video clip look the deer have walked off and I quite honestly um, have figured out that I was doing something else so I let the camera roll but as I said to you these are a hundred percent raw clips and so therefore what we've got is a lot of grasses as we are talking this this clip will be ending soon but we can just have a chat and pause and look at the grasses the next clip which is about coming is where I think I go off to a new location inside um, to look at one of those previous slides that we had so here we go so let's get started again and we can say that if that is the zoom in um, with the binoculars only we can zoom right into maximum and we get this but if you compare this actually to the native camera it's like that which is quite something on a mobile phone so look here's my picture of of the woods but what if there is a woodpecker or somebody turns up there's another one there you saw these earlier on and then if we zoom right in you actually get to our friend the squirrel which I think is in freeze mode at the moment and then you'll see that the squirrel will figure out that maybe I'm not a threat and then we'll go about the business of foraging and then knock off for a couple of seconds to scratch one's ear which I think is about out of like freeze camouflage mode there we go I'm foraging away and then I will scratch my ear maybe I know you do it because there you go look little crafty scratch of the ear and we walk off so as I'm going through these ancient uh, woodlands at the moment I'm trying to figure out the best use for this technique that's why we're doing quite honestly a teaching session here's another one here which is actually somewhere in there is the squirrel uh, this is an example of zooming right in what I did not notice until I actually got home is that through that hole there that we're about to be looking at we can actually see I think it, this is the clip if I I go in that's all the way out oh no no it's this is it this one so I'm looking in and I'm just just going through the the aperture there a quick tap and we can actually see is this one when I go in yeah I think there's a partial number plate of a UK vehicle in there this one's a really interesting one because that's all the way out all the way in means that we can come straight in to see that with the two knots and even the cobwebs on the tree so I hope we're getting to a level now where I'm actually trying to convince well I've, I've convinced myself I've been using this technique now for a good couple of years but not really that super actively but now it's got to a level where um, I think I've re um, jigged the the elastics there and I'm uh, quite confident that we can actually get some some decent footage and when I stop talking about the technique in the future videos we can actually get down to the nitty-gritty of actually filming something and just making the nature recorder you know th through the nature series that I'm working on um, hopefully quite special I've used this technique um, with the previous on the sheep some village cricket which obviously isn't directly this this one was a bit weird in that I thought I could see along the path and then I quickly rotate to the right coming up there and look down the other bridle way and I do zoom in but from that, that level there what I didn't realize is there's actually there's a vehicle there you can see a vehicle wheel so we can pull out a lot of detail this is like a really really interesting area here because the watch the brown horse very very closely it's like tugging at the fence it's really I don't know crafty curious and then remember this is in double quick time and then the lovely thing that I just did not notice in real life when I was recording this is that the the brown horse if you just keep watching is very very crafty because it actually starts to feel that it wants to have a walk in the neighboring field and you see it's coming along coming on looking they're both there together and remember I'm using the pan head on the tripod just to come round watch watch lift up the fence yeah shall I go forward shall I go forward through that fence um, and he's under the fence and bingo the horse is now in the neighboring fence of course I think it chose the horse chose a piece of the fence that didn't have 
a low horizontal piece of um, fence post or horizontal slats should we say and the horse is clearly into the next. Now probably at this stage I'm probably thinking about um, not really thinking that I'm using a mobile phone or binoculars at all but I'm actually getting into the the visuals of what's actually being recorded here so the sun is out which because of the summer time we're actually getting this incredible haze like a shimmer that's coming along which I think is just fantastic with this technique and then we go off to start looking through another bridle way you know, a little bit down the track and this is a field uh, livestock with some many calves and the sun was pretty hot I was pretty good because I was in the shade in the bridle way in the trees and I've got a ditch there and I've just um, started to get and literally a glimpse not a very big glimpse through the vignette of the the trees and the bushes next to me and I can start to see these and what I'm doing is I'm tapping on the Android screen to see the focus and also playing with the huge contrast between the darks and the lights so from our dark foliage our, our leaves there we're starting to get which is interesting because the the livestock here the cows in the field some of course as you can see are dark some are light and I'm wondering if I've got enough depth with this technique to bring to really bring something out to make it worthwhile like the darker I think calf there is fine the lighter one is light um, going on to the next clip which I think is coming up I personally like the vignette it keeps me camouflaged but also I'm showing you the raw clip so with this leaf over the dead center of screen maybe I probably wouldn't have used that but hey this is what it is all about um, very very bright and then that was an accident but a nice accident where we've got the barbed wire so we can really start to use remember this is a mobile phone not a say DSLR with um, a lens that you can physically grab the focus wheel and, and turn it around it's a lot of tapping we've got one um, animal here which maybe is just the time of the day to be in the sun and to be relaxing and then there is a technique which is just lovely coming up where open camera allows you to take a photograph or a series of photographs especially with um, HDR exposure in terms of a set of three while you are recording the video so that is really really useful it's something that I use coming up quite soon if you're wondering how I'm doing this I'm using Cyberlink Power Director to play back my video and then I'm narrating into the Zoom H2N which is recording on the Zoom's microphone SD card and then I'll put these together in post now watch this very carefully because we've got the cow the little black cow which you just see in the grass and when the screen starts to flash that's when I've tapped to take a photograph so I'm literally watching the video here myself and then in a second I like the head of the right hand calf one two three and I've hit the take a picture button and it's taken three images on HDR which I can process later so that was that scene and then we go off to start having a look around I think on a at a bit of a pan shot and because I think open camera is recording on an auto HDR we are starting to get some really I would say vibrant saturated greens that are coming out and then I can just start to play around and what I particularly like hope you do too is the sheer you know 100 I think 140 odd meters this is away where we can get a lot of shimmer a lot of bugs uh, which are flying around which I actually quite like um, the effect for the nature recorder when I post edit it um, in other words we can see across that hundred meters or so now this is a fella here that <laughs> took a shine to my presence which I think is just brilliant because that's the only one that actually or maybe that little one as well I, I don't know I don't know if that one's a juvenile is advanced enough to spot me and think I wonder what is going on but you can see that the saturation has gone a little bit so depending on where I am and what the sensor is picking up is how green it becomes and that's a nice shot all the way through there to the neighboring field very good always times by two remember so the wagging of the tail 
the flicking of the ear all times by two and what else have we got here oh you're still looking this bovine will stare me out yes you you're oh no who blinked first I'm hungry getting to the very very end here that we're at this is looking back over the woods that some of the woods that we've just come from and we're really starting to get this glowy shimmer thing uh, with the May 2019 heat in England and I'm just starting to look at the far far away part I did record one of those I think it was one of the Birch's Spring ones um, where you've got some high conifers there uh, I think there's some tall pines up there and that, that's actually two sets of woods and the gap there at the bottom is um, is where I think is pretty much where the horses field is anyway this is the end of this video the end of this teaching session um, from the nature recorder and Mike Downs I hope we've enjoyed and we use this technique so thank you very much and good bye